it's actually very easy to assemble. All you have to do is to place your headboard face down on a flat surface and then you attach your bolts and your washers which is already included in the box and then just tighten it with a flat head screwdriver and then you're done. What I love about this headboard is that the legs can be adjusted. The maximum adjustable height is 54 inches and the minimum adjustable height is 51 inches. Now that I have a headboard, I can finally install the sconces. This is from TR Life. It's the medium brushed brass swing arm dimmable wall sconce with remote control. I got this from Amazon and I got a pair for only $60. So right now I'm just tracing the body of the sconce so that I can use it as a guide just so I know where to drill and mount. So the real challenge here is, more than the drilling, is how do I hang the wall sconces evenly? I'm no expert, so I googled. I read that as a general rule of thumb, wall sconces are installed between 60 inches to 72 inches off the ground. When it comes to horizontal spacing, sconces are traditionally 6 feet apart. There's just so many design rules, but I think it all depends on your ceiling height and bed height. For a bedroom, I used the headboard as my center guide and that helped me figure out where to place the sconces. You just have to make sure that the distance of both sconces from the edge of the bed are equal. <laughs> 